YouTube channel. I want to say assalamu alaikum to everyone. Uh, that's a Muslim greeting and I'm saying that specifically today because uh, for today's episode, I'll be uh, paying tribute to great women of Lanao del Sur who paved the way uh, in the different fields of uh, education. And uh, before we proceed to that uh, episode again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and press that notification bell po para we can grow each day at para po lalo tayong dumami ng dumami in this channel so we can become a bigger, bigger, bigger family. I welcome you again to my channel. Oh, it's Oji. We all know that at some point in the past, we were colonized by the Americans. And in the time also, the Americans were offering education to our people. But in our case, as Maranao, there was a resistance. Uh, I don't really know what was going in their mind. I, I cannot talk uh, what they were thinking during that time, but probably the reason is uh, cultural differences or they do not trust Americans yet. But there were great people who bravely stood by their ground and believed that education, having an education is the right thing to do. And I'd like to pay tribute to them in this blog for paving the way to the many professionals uh, Maranao women that we have as of today. Ngayon, ang tanong, sino ba ang kauna-unahang Maranao na babae ang nakatapos at complete ng kanyang college degree? I have to applaud this woman because she started everything. Naging butterfly effect after she became a professional, nagsunuro na po, nagsunuro na po yung mga kapa Maranao who obtained their college degree. The first, first ever Maranao woman to complete her college degree and obtain an education is no less than Bae Ditma Unayan Makarambon. Uh, we call her Ina Ditma. Uh, before I proceed, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before going through this blog, I didn't really know who the people who would be coming out, whose names would be coming out. And uh, I'm thankful that somehow, in one way or the other, I am related to all these people who started uh, the drive for the education in my province. Okay, so going back to Ina Ditma. Ina Ditma uh, is the first educator. She graduated, uh, <clears throat> became an educator in the province. And I'm, I still remember her because in Abad uh, she is a very, very fine lady. I, I would always remember her white, beautiful hair. And every time I'll see her, um, she would talk to me in English. You can see, you know, you can see from her how educated she is, how well-mannered and kind-hearted she is. And uh, her value for education, I guess, transcended to her children who also became professionals in, in different fields. And I've seen from Ina Ditma how much um, she valued education. Uh, and she got married, uh, being blessed with so many children, all of them became professionals. Not just ordinary professionals, but individual people who made great names among uh, <clears throat> themselves. One of which is si Papa June, who became a congressman in Lanao del Sur. Uh, that would lead me to uh, her daughter, si Lindao Makarambon Boransing, whom we call Mambu, also became, diba? Also became the first, first ever Maranao lawyer. O oh, diba? Inaditma, the first educated Maranao. Her daughter, si Mambu, became the first, first ever Maranao lawyer. O saan ka pa, diba? Ang galing niya, ang mga anak niya magagaling. May congressman na siya. 
may abogado pa siya. And also, her other son, si Uncle Danny, became another great lawyer in uh, our province. So, makikita mo talaga uh, how she imparted to, to her children and our people what education is all about. Wala akong masabi sa pamilya niyan. I love them too and bow na lang ako because, you know, when it comes to education, the Makarambons really value that. It's a trait that they have. Okay, as I was saying, uh, when Miss Linda Makarambon Boran Singh, or we fondly call Mom, became lawyer, she became an inspiration to so many, so many people. Nakita siguro ng mga kababaihan nating marana. Uy, kaya pala. Because, you know, it's uh, being a lawyer in the past, siguro, they were thinking it's it's a man's job. It's it's a profession for men. But uh, when she became a lawyer, that gave uh, inspiration and interest to these people. And right now, my gosh, we are overflowing with uh, a great... Uh, Maranao lawyers. I have a sister, Ehano is a lawyer. Aimi, my, my cousins Aimi who is also Makarambon and me, Mima who is also Makarambon are lawyers and so many, so many, so many other people who are doing great in this profession. So, uh, sa lahat po ng abogado, abog, abogado natin na babae, okay, Mambo, maraming, maraming salamat. Maraming, maraming salamat for being there inspiration Talk about the first first ever maranao woman accountant yung magaling sa numbers sa math sa pagbibilang and all that she's no less than auntie putri aguam makarambon makarambon ole you see the connection the son of <clears throat> ina ditma uncle danny who is a lawyer got married to auntie putri our first ever Maranao Accountants. Ang galing talaga ng mga anak ni Inaditma, pati mga in-laws niya. So, when Auntie Putri became uh, uh, the first board passer in the accountancy exam, ayun na po. Dumami na nang dumami din ang ating mga accountant na Maranao all over the country and even abroad. So, ang naging inspirasyon naman po nila, uh, tinularan ay si Auntie Putri. So, ang gagaling talaga ng mga babaeng ito. Now, let's talk about uh, engineering. Sino ba ang kauna-unahang maranaw na naging engineer? Walang iba po kundi si Auntie Baby Tanggol Makarambon. See, they're all related also with the Makarambons because the husband of Auntie Baby is related to them. So, si ang galing-galing. Auntie Baby is a relative of mine. We're from the same hometown. At the same time, She's the aunt of one of my sister-in-law, Rai. So when it comes to uh, the profession of uh, engineering, si Auntie Baby naman po ang nagsimula sa mga kababaihan ng Maranao na maging engineer. And as of today, we have overflowing of uh, great engineers here in the country and abroad uh, coming from my province. So maraming maraming salamat po, Auntie Baby, for leading the way to this women Let's talk about medicine doktora ng gagamot ang kauna-unahang doktora sa probinsya o lalawigan ng Lanao del Sur ay walang iba kundi si Anti Farida Unda Alonto married to one of my uncles June Alonto uh, in the field of medicine, uh, si Auntie Faring po ang naging uh, Ascatriona Gray, will say, uh, who first started the torch and passed it on to so many, so many people. And uh, when it comes to the field of medicine, ang dami po at maraming maraming magagaling na maranaw na doktor na kababaihan, kababaihan sa ngayon. And her daughter also, well, it's no, it's natural that one of her children followed her footsteps. At si Auntie Faring po ay isa sa mga talagang ginagalang at inanga, ina, tseh, hinahangaan na doktor sa aming probinsya. So when it comes to the field of uh, medicine and being a doctor, si Auntie Faring po ang nagsimula 
Nyan. Now let's give this time and tribute uh, to a lady that I admire, respect, and love so much. Ang kauna-unahang gobernadora ng probinsya ng Lanao del Sur. Walang iba ba kundi si Princess Tarhata Alonto Lukman. Or I call her Ina. Uh, she's popularly known or being called in the, in the province as Babu, which means auntie. Now, as a governor, Ina was well loved. Uh, she was known to be a redo settler. Uh, redo means, you know, it, it's a conflict between families. Uh, so, family war. So, yan po ang naging trademark niya. Talagang she goes out of her way to, to be able to, set, uh, to settle this conflict uh, among uh, family members uh, in the province or feuding families. Aside from that, as a woman, you know, she's full of love, kindness, humility. And one thing that I, I truly admire about, or rather learn from Ina, is diplomacy. Uh, there were several instances when she would talk to people, and I really admire how, how, how she would deal with uh, pro problems or conflict, conflicts that she's handling and uh, using... Uh, peace all the time, you know. Uh, ayaw ng gulo, gusto, gusto, gusto niya the whole time is uh, kapayapaan. Uh, she would use her heart, her mind to con to convince people how great it is to, to always have peace within ourselves and in the province. She's one person who is so, so, so well-loved. So siya po ang kauna-una-unahang governor ng ating, our province rather, uh, Lana del Sur, that paved the way for so many, so many great people or a lady who also followed her footsteps when it comes to public service. Uh, nandiyan na sumunod din si Anter, Norm Anter Normala, who, who is her daughter, became vice governor. And the second lady governor of the province, Auntie Soraya Alonto Adjong, is her niece also. And and dami pong kababaihan na naging mayors, assembly women, uh, who, who got into public service because they were all inspired by... Uh, what she started. So, Ina, thank you for everything. Mabuhay ka. Hope Allah blesses you with a longer life and good health. So, ayan po mga kaibigan. I only talked about few people. I, I, I think I have to do another vlog about the great uh, first women of uh, uh, Lanao del Sur in the, in the future. Kasi medyo yun lang po yung mga taong nakuha ko at saka the information that I got for, for the time being. And hopefully, I get uh, to find out more and uh, uh, share it with you. So, again, I hope you have learned something in this vlog. You enjoyed it. Until the next vlog, um, this has been again Oji Lukman from Oh, It's Oji. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone. See you.